Thomas uh, Schneider from uh, Switzerland. And um, normally Switzerland uh, supports and does about 95% uh, what the European Union does and says. At uh, this time, I want to I want to join to 100% to what has been said by the EU presidency. Um, uh, I think there are good proposals and, and, and good uh, judgments made by Bertrand. I also would like to support others who think that the IGF should remain uh, a discussion platform, an open discussion platform, but that the outreach uh, should be strengthened and we should try to get action around, more action and more uh, tangible things around the IGF, more influence on institutions, more actions, which is probably more important, more actions from dynamic coalitions and, and spontaneous bottom-up initiatives that try to, 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 to go for solutions on the issues we discussed. Um, and as we have been, uh, uh, and another, another issue is that my personal view was, was that there were too many simultaneous events. I was uh, by far not able to follow uh, at least a part of having less events uh, continue to merge uh, 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 even more strongly the workshops uh, together so that uh, we would be more able to follow the discussions. And as we have been uh, very uh, 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 happy to help out the, Euro uh, the Council of Europe that uh, could not be here for, for, for the reasons that you know, uh, I'm also very happy to help out the Presidency of the European Union uh, to, to bring up an idea that, he for, uh, that the representative forgot in his speech, which I think is a very uh, so that maybe for the next IGF we could not call for workshops, but you could call for issues and then see what the issues are that are come up and that would help you to, to force people to merge their workshops on the issues and maybe you define the number of workshops according to the issues and, and then try to, to bring it to the people. And lastly, I would uh, thank to Wolfgang Kleinwecht and all the others who were working on the book that has been distributed uh, a few days ago. I think this is a very valuable thing, and we would encourage you to find the resources and, 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 and so whatever you need to come up with a new book uh, on, on the highlights of the IGF even earlier than, than this book. Thank you very much. I'm happy to see this 100% support of Switzerland for the European Union a week before you join the Schengen. You see? A week from now, you'll be part of the Schengen, but you're, going, you're a week ahead of that. Okay. I think I've covered... Yes, there's a gentleman there. Uh, good evening, Chairman and uh, members. I'm very happy to participate in this uh, event. Uh, this is my first uh, international meeting. We have discussed things like what to do and what not to do, and the contents, how should be the contents in the internet. But I'm more worried about the infrastructure, you know, the <coughs> particularly network switches, which you are going to replace in future. The costs are very exorbitant to maintain a country like India and also the service for a small speed a user has to pay very high price and in fact it is not at all encouraging for a country like India to afford internet uh, he has to spend at least a minimum of one lakh investment which is very difficult for a common man to have this facility and enjoy the contents. So the infrastructure supporting people have to come forward to subsidize or maintain the equipment uh, so that at a cheap rate so that countries like India will get the benefit compared to developed countries. This is my request. And the gov Internet Governing Forum should focus on these aspects also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.